Hey guys, Tyler aka Ghost Protocol here again and today we're going to go over what elements are necessary for a modern EDM style song. We're going to do so using Tiesto and Cashmere's song Secrets and you can find this project file just online on Splice. Cashmere uploaded it. So the first part is the sidechain kick which is just a short punchy kick to trigger sidechain throughout the song. Next is the kick group which just has three kicks, the sub, the top, and the normal kick. Then we've got claps and percussion, which come in around 5 bars and 13 bars. You can hear around 13 bars there's more um, elements in there, and that's just the bongos, and it just pretty much is adding more energy to the song. And then there's on-beat claps. The next part, I kind of group these together. Um, it's fills and glitches, which are just little elements throughout the drop that um, add flare. And then we've got the synths. And in the synth group, this is actually pretty important. He's got a lot of transposition and pitch bending, which really adds the element of surprise to the song and it just keeps it from being stagnant and really makes it um, more entertaining all the way throughout. And he also does that in his bass group. So you can hear this bass group. It's a gritty bass, and you can hear also in there he's got a lot of um, pitch bending. And Kashmir has talked about that quite a lot, how he really likes to use pitch bends, specifically in the bass. To It's, it's not the biggest element, but um, it keeps things really, like it's a flare. So it keeps things really moving and interesting. And then the sub. And then we've also got white noise and vocal effects, which just add energy to the song. So those are the elements that really go into the song. Um, I'll let it play right now. You can hear how each of those elements is really important. And another thing I just wanted to touch on real quick uh, to let everyone know even some of these massive producers that are the biggest producers in the world still are using things like um, Nexus leads, just using Nexus presets. And so I just wanted to say that you don't need to stray away from using presets uh, to make your songs amazing and unique. It's just how you use everything and all the elements that go together. I hope this was helpful and subscribe for more.